Your eyes were watering during the commercial break. You're, yeah. You're so overwhelmed to be in Nova Scotia. I'm so happy to be in Nova Scotia. I don't know what to do. I just love all this cold weather. It's invigorating. <laughs> I want to run around the block. You came here from California. Right. Well, first of all, I left California about three days ago. I went to the Playboy Club in um, Great Gorge, New Jersey. I worked there two nights, and then I got on the plane and came here. You know something? Yeah. I've never been in a Playboy Club. Never? Yeah. Oh, you've got you've got to go. You've I don't got want to go. all those people coming and, and kneeling down. Kneeling down? No, they don't kneel. They bend. I don't they know where to look. I don't they, know where to look. They call the girl them, is bringing me my martini. No, they I'm call serious. it the play. It's the play girl bend. You know, she bends from the knee, not from the waist. Because if she bent from the waist, never mind. It would all hang out. <laughs> Tell me about your house in California. Well, uh, let's see now. I've had my house now for about a year and a half. And I've got two lovely dogs, two poodles. A toy poodle by the name of Nanette. And um, a standard. His name is Nicole. I don't know why we call him Nicole. He, it's, a, it's a male. But uh, for some strange reason, my little sister uh, named Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> She's a member of the Supremes, by the way. Your, your little sister is with us, I think? Yeah. I'm still crying on her. Yeah. Oh, and it, look, it looks so emotional. And what it is, is some kind of thing. It's something in the, in, the, in, in the studio and it's making me it cry. Yeah, it's not making me cry. Yeah, I'm doing a yeah. dramatic thing. It's making me cry. Doesn't that make a terrific actor? <laughs> <laughs> well, here you are talking about my little sister is with us. The free is pouring, <laughs> pouring down your throat. Listen, Band of Gold. Well, that was your biggest hit so far. So far. Band of Gold is is the song that sold the most units, as they say in the business, the, um, you know, the one that really did it. I got a gold record for it, and then I got another gold record called Bring the Boys Home, which was um, a big hit the following year in 71. What was Bring the Boys Home about? I don't well, know. Bring the Boys Home had a lot to do with the war that was going over in Vietnam and the conflict over there. And it sort of um, brought out the sentiments of all the people here in America who really wanted they're, their relatives and friends American. and their sons and their lovers to come home. So uh, my song was banned, by the way, from being played by the, uh, by the United States government. And of course, um, it, got, it got me a lot of publicity. And what it did, instead of, ha instead of having the song more or less, let's say, curtailed or um, putting some sort of a, a stigma on it, it uh, it sort of pushed it, and the song became a big success. Bring the boys home. That's uh, kind. Of, that's why I suspected that was about what it was about when I heard that title. And one of the reasons I asked was because Marsha P is going to be here later. Oh yeah. And I don't know. Maybe he heard the song himself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would appreciate having a clinic. Yeah. Can I we can like we get a clinic because die. Frida is going to sing again, and, and we'll now prove not only that we're late night but live on television. There's the clinic. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to be in Halifax. <laughs> you know, I'm overcome. <laughs> oh, well. I know what it is. It must be the lashes. I thought they were real. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what I look at, look with, without any makeup, folks. <laughs> you look terrific without any makeup. I won't have any makeup on. Will you do no song? He's going crazy to makeup, man. <laughs>
you got that, Peter? Somebody. Why, the kiss or the lobster? No, the, <laughs> the kiss. Listen, I also brought you some Kleenex. Oh, thank you. Can I, not can I eat the lobster? Sure. <laughs> no, but it's a funny thing, but this is about the, how much is this about? Is this a four pound lobster? See, that oh, is no. five and a half pounds of lobster. Wow. English money. On a good day, <laughs> I get <guess. laughs> A lobster like this would cost about $35 for this. In a restaurant, probably more. Yeah, maybe, maybe more. <laughs> you mean this is really mine? It's yours. And I love you. You can eat it all by yourself. Now, I didn't, uh. I didn't buy it, by the way. <laughs> I know this fisherman down in there. <laughs> He's got a great connection with a fisherman. <laughs> oh, this is fabulous. Can the audience see this? Can you see? Yeah. Everybody look. Maybe we can share it. Can Drool. You no, we're gonna. I'm gonna share it with everybody. Okay, we'll 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 find some place. To I'm gonna have the tail and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have that claw. Well, you like me to uh, take it, and then I'll put it. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see.